<clears throat> one, two, one, two. All right, let's roll. let's roll. Welcome. Welcome. You're listening to the Saddle Up Podcast, where we discuss everything related to UTR GB Athletics, past or present. We'll catch up with old teammates, friends, and take you down memory lane with exclusive interviews. This is the Saddle Up Podcast, the voice of your covered walkway streets. So dope. This is going to be awesome. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. From Bronx Village to the Fieldhouse, we'll cover it all. Hell yeah, dude. Carpe Daniel. So saddle up and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Saddle up, partner. Hey guys, what's up? It's Friday. Another great episode. We've been I'm, trying I'm to still, get... Yeah. yeah, I'm still here, man. I'm still, you're trying to get rid of me every single Friday. You and 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 sometimes I show you know sometimes I show up sometimes I don't I'm here in person, I, you know but right now I have to show up I'm gonna I'm gonna give everybody a hint as to who's on the show right now. Well, like, even though you right. already even though you already even though you already read the bio on Facebook and Instagram, okay? I need work on I I'm playing in a in a golf tournament this weekend. Okay, I'm, I am I am and I need help. So we have called one of the experts. One of the experts, the one and only golf genius, golf expert, turn trainer, UT Pan American, yep. legend. What's her name, Matt? I'm sorry. Libby Garza. Libby, Libby Garza. Garza baby. Libby yeah, Garza, welcome you. to the show. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. We've been trying to get you on the show for, like, nine since, seasons, yeah. and we're only in season four. Like, you know? So, since, been- 90, since 98, we've been trying to get you on the show, Libby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little hard to find. Sorry. Yeah. No, you're yeah. Yeah. Hard yeah. Hard to find. yeah. Yeah. Very but busy these days. You're forever in our hearts. Yeah, we heard you're super busy. Got three kids in college, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But yeah. How have you been? Welcome to the show, Libby. Thanks yes. for having yes. me. I'm excited to be here. Catch up a little bit. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. It's been a while. We got a lot of yeah, we got a lot of questions. We got a lot of questions. And we also want to introduce you to the, our fan base, my, our mothers. Our mothers are the only ones that watch this show every Friday, and uh, they give us a snippet of how we did. So those are our favorite fan base, and I know they're going to say some great things about this show. Right, Matt? Okay, Shout no pressure. Mom. mom, yeah. <laughs> so no. Libby, Hi, Mom. Li- Libby, we, we know that you played golf for the school, and then you, right. you, you, you became a trainer, right? Right. Kind of Correct. give, kind of give everybody that doesn't know you, kind of your backstory and where you at now, and you know, kind of yeah. let's play real quick catch up. And- how'd you get? How'd you get the UT Pan Am? Like, where where'd yeah. you go to high school? Were you from the so, Valley? Another Valley athlete? No, actually, I grew up in Corpus. Okay. Okay. And I started playing golf when I was about eight years old. My dad uh, picked up golf in his thirties, and my dad had three daughters, so no boys to take out to the golf course. So he took all three of us to the golf course one summer. Um, Every summer they have little golf camps. Yeah. And so you have kids like three years old, four years old, all the way up to high school. And my dad took me and my sisters. Well, at the time I was eight, my younger sister at that time was three. So she was too young. And then my older sister was 13. My older sister was focused on all the boys that were in the area. So she really didn't like golf at all. Um, I'm the only one who kind of enjoyed it. And so I played since I was eight. And my dad would take me on Saturdays to play with him and his friends. And so from eight years old until high school, I played with my dad and his friends. And I had to play from their tees. So I wasn't playing from the women's tees. I was playing from their tees. Well, Matt Matt plays from the women's tees every time we go and play (laughs) Yeah. Now, so yeah, he, I, we, he totally knows. He doesn't but, hit the but, ball forward; he hits it backwards. If you caught it, it happens sometimes. Any other past episodes? <laughs> we've told that story before. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Washington. it's an old story. It's, yeah, an, old it's an old story. story. We're here. Yeah, we're Look, here. To talk if you about play golf women. at all, you'll have yeah. about ten of those stories. <laughs> thank oh, thank yeah. you, Libby. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So, yeah. were you were you like that? Like you learned the entire culture. Like the golf, yeah. there is a culture in golf. So right. you learned, you learned the entire culture in yeah. golf, you know, what it took to, to play the it's, game. So did you play through, 
middle school and high school? I played in middle school and then I played in high school. Um, I like doing all kinds of sports, but in high school, my dad said, if you, look, if you focus on golf, you can get a scholarship because mm -hmm. golf at that time, and even probably now too, it's not as popular for girls as it is for guys. Yeah. And so I wasn't able, or I, I chose not to do the other sports so that I could focus on golf. And it just so happened that um, my senior year, they started the program here at Pan Am. That, oh, yeah, wow. there you go. Yes. Yeah. And so, um, Gloria. My, I'm sorry? Shout, Shout out, out to Gloria. Gloria. Yeah. yeah. She was on that, and, was on that and and our team. Yeah. Well, she was on the first year. I was on the second year. Yes. Awesome. So that's where I got recruited, and which was actually great because my mom and dad are both from the Valley. Oh. So while I was two and a half hours away from home, I still had grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles all over the place. Yeah. So I wasn't, I wasn't really gone. Yeah. You were at home. You felt, you, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, you, yeah. and I went home all the time because it was just, yeah, you know, I, was, I was homesick for a while. G, G was like that too, you know, growing up in Brownsville, you know, he, he was kind of away from home, but he was close enough to, you know, Get yeah, me. I just went the opposite way. I, I yeah. went to Brownsville. You went yeah. the other way. I went up, you went out that way. Yeah, and I had, <laughs> I had my grandma and my uncle, because my parents are both from far. So I came I down. And, yeah, okay. and I had family too. So I know exactly, I can relate to that. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. So yeah. how was that? How was that whole, uh, how was that whole recruiting process? Like, did you get recruited? You walked on, you got a full scholarship. I got you know? recruited. Um, and I guess because we're so close to the Valley, um, yeah. it was easier for her to recruit. And, and she was really, and coach Padgy is, is, was our, our coach. And yeah. I think she was probably limited with how far and, and the money she could use to go recruit people. So we were so That's close right. to the Valley and, um, yeah, so she recruited me and, and came for a visit signed my letter of intent and the rest is history <laughs> it was easy. like real history did yeah. you you end up now you you can you call your home edinburgh right i've you, lived in you, the valley longer than, than i've lived in corpus yeah then you did wow. in corpus. so yeah. you were you That's were awesome. you played golf 90 your freshman year was 95 i'm assuming or 90 uh, yeah 94 95 was my first year 4 95 and then you right. graduated mm -hmm. yeah so you played all four years yeah yeah that's that's a, that, that's insane. And what golf courses would y'all practice at? Yeah. Like, was it the Montreal, you know, Muni course or where? No, actually, we had two main courses, and it was McAllen Country Club or mm -hmm. Cimarron Country Club. Wow, that's that's nice. yeah. And then every now and then we would go to Harlingen at Treasure Hills. Yeah. Ah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Nice. Wow. So, so y'all play like, golf every day, I'm assuming. You're on yeah, the golf course. Well, we, we had practice, um, let's see, if I remember correctly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we had practice one o'clock until, you know, five or six. And so we had morning classes. And then Tuesday, uh -huh, Thursdays, yeah. we had morning practice. And then we had yeah. afternoon classes. So we practiced every day. Wow. wow. Yeah. And our practices were like three, four hours. Of course. Yeah. yeah. L Libby, have you had a chance to go to go back, like at, to visit the universe, kind of walk around? I know you live there, but sometimes, you know, um, we, I mean, you're busy. You don't have a lot of time. Yeah, to I, to I've look? been there to volleyball games and to baseball games. Um, yeah, I did go this past summer when my son was registering and I, I had to be there and they yeah. they have that whole Bronx Trail. Yeah, it's covered. Yeah. <laughs> it's covered. Yeah. So there's, there's no pigeon poop falling on you anymore. <laughs> Which I was like, well, that's not fair. We had to, no. Wait, that, exactly. We went. No, they're, they're spoiled. <laughs> they are so spoiled now. You're probably yeah. telling your son that, right? Yeah. You're probably telling your son everything that he has that you didn't have. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what we Cats do. It's a parents. lot nicer now than it, it was back then. It's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Just it a little bit. Really <laughs> but when you walk down that, I mean, yes, okay, they covered it, right? The, the roof or whatever. But when you were walking down that, that trail did it did you have a sense of nostalgia like you it kind of smelled the same it kind of felt the same i mean i did when i went back for the um mm -hmm. the hall of fame ceremony this past march mm -hmm. and i walked the the trail and it was like it took me back you know yeah to that era like did you i'm just curious did you feel the same way 
when you were walking around campus, even though it has changed? Yeah, a thousand percent. Yeah. I mean, I felt <laughs> yeah. like that was 18, 19 again. You know, yeah. The, yeah. of course the buildings are different and there's more buildings and, it, and it's, it's nicer in some areas, but yeah, it just takes you back to that time when, you know, we didn't have cell phones or if we did, we could only call after nine o'clock because those hours were free and stuff like that, or those minutes were free. <laughs> Um, those but track yeah, phone, it, the it track definitely phone. took me back. Absolutely. It was it, it brought back so many happy memories. The library what? smelled the same. Like I went up to the fourth floor where we <laughs> used to have study hall, and now it's like a it's like a museum up there. Like they've oh. got special artifacts up there. I'm like, up here used to be cubicles where we used to play paper football. Like uh, you That's know where we were studying. No, uh, we studied uh, mom, Libby, I promise. Libby, <laughs> mom, 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 we both studied. All of uh, us study. Of course, we have our degrees. We study. <laughs> we didn't have Google. You see, we did not that's have right. Google and all that kind of stuff. So no, we had to correct. study. Yeah. yeah. We had to read. There were actually that's books right. back then. That's there was right. print paper books that we read. There was that, <laughs> there was that building and, and it was like the computer lab, right? It was several yeah. like rooms and it was just filled with computers. Yeah. And the internet had just kind of started. Like it wasn't <laughs> yeah. where you could go in and do a you know, a Google search, like you said, it was yeah. like, what do I do with this computer besides type? <laughs> I remember being at Pan Am and being so excited because I had an email address and oh, I didn't yes. have to send a letter. I could email yeah. somebody. And to me, that was wild. That was wild. I yes. Oh my goodness. What? I'm dating myself. That's crazy. I'm no, not, I have dating now all of us. I have now you're become, I think that in my day, Back you know, in my day, we used to pigeon poop in our heads and we couldn't yeah. Google or eat. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so gosh, that's awesome. Uh, Libby, you just mentioned that that whole, that trail brought happy memories. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of jog them? This is all about memory lane. We love telling the stories. Um, what what kind of sticks out in your mind uh, from just being a, you know, being a student there or being a golf player, what was one of those uh, most memorable moments that you'd like to share with us? Oh, I have several. <laughs> um, I lived in the dorms there on campus. And so I, I remember my first yeah. couple of weeks there, several of us in the evening, like the late evening, <laughs> would walk around yeah. campus with a golf club and we were kind of trying to learn how to bounce the ball in the face of your, your golf club. At yeah, like yeah. midnight, you know, just kind of walking around. I don't know that we would do that now, but I remember doing that. There, there's no, there wasn't campus security back then. No, no there is. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah. Um, I so just remember. Like patrol. <laughs> <laughs> there's what? They were like patrol. They were wa they were walking around making sure everything was safe and. Oh, well, they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah. yeah. With the golf club, just yeah, yeah. Make sure we were the, the backup. <laughs> Yeah, we're yeah, yeah, yeah. before we had it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so go ahead, continue. I think what I remember the most is just being able to travel because most yeah. of our golf tournaments were for sure out of out of the valley, but a lot of them were out of state. And I'd never been yeah. on a plane before. So, you know, we traveled to California, to New Mexico, to Colorado, to um, Kansas, Alabama. Louisiana we went yeah. to Hawaii one year for a golf tournament yeah. so yeah. that's kind of the stuff that I remember is just thinking to myself I can't believe I'm playing in another state right. in this beautiful golf course mm -hmm. that you know I get to do yeah now so I'm curious fun. we had a we had a guest on a couple of weeks ago uh Linda who ran track she's in the hall of fame shout out to Linda and she kind of kind of schooled g and i on how the track team worked and you know right. g and i weren't familiar with the competition of how it was on oh, the yeah. track team, right it was like the girls would run all week and whoever had the best time that's who was going to compete at the meet right right so was it similar was the golf team similar where all week y'all were just like mm -hmm. monday through friday y'all were practicing and how did they how did they decide who was going to compete in the tournament and who was going to kind of be like an alternate? I'm yeah. just curious. So a traveling golf team is five players. 
Mm -hmm. um, the fifth person is the, I guess the alternate maybe. Um, okay. And so in the weeks leading up to a golf tournament, we had to qualify. And so we would play one day at McAllen Country Club, another day at Cimarron, um, for however many days the coach wanted, and the top five players are the ones that were able to travel. And so and it was how many, how many were on the team though? Like you five could travel, but were there 20 girls or were there seven? No, no, no. It was probably at most 10. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. That's um, probably yeah. Because you have to you have to kind of keep in mind too that as a sport. Golf does not bring money into the, the school. Yeah, no, it's not a revenue driven. Yeah. Right. So yeah. we're very limited with Resources. the funds that, yeah. that the, right. the sport has. And so a lot of the money goes towards golf bags and uniforms and shoes. And there's not as much money for scholarships. And so maybe one or two at that time, one or two people had a full scholarship and, and the rest mm -hmm. of us had a partial scholarship. Okay. And so we didn't have this big, large group of, of girls up yeah. was maybe 10. Have you had a chance to see the new facility there in South McAllen? Yes, I have. And I'm <laughs> jealous, super jealous. Like we, my friend- We're Brittany, gonna share Brittany this plays, with the golf coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, Brittany played on the golf team with me. She was in the first year with Gloria. Um, Brittany played for four years as well. Um, she still lives down here and she's really good friends with, with coach and you know, we went out to see the facilities and I'm, I'm like, what do you mean you have lockers? Like my trunk was my locker. I had all <laughs> my gear in my trunk. Like, oh, it's yeah. beautiful. It is so, so nice. I'm so glad that, that the money is now available for the facilities and for the girls to have, and the guys too, uh, but to have that kind of training facility. It's really nice. You know, with track and field, you know, they Maybe. built that locker room for the, you know, the track and field, the, the men and women's soccer, like it's, it's insane. The facilities that they're building and providing for, you know, the, the other, I don't want to say the other sports, but you know, the, like you said, the non-income producing sports, right. they're making sure that everybody kind of gets a, a fair and equal shake and, and, you know, they're, they're leveling the, the yeah. standard. I like that. So yeah. I love it. I, I, the facilities we've seen are just unreal, unbelievable. And yeah, it's, it is it's, unreal. I got, I got a chance to go and visit them and I was, I was in awe with the technology yeah. that they have. What? Yeah, That's crazy. I got a video on my phone of G missing putts and it had. I did. I meant, well, what, just to go back, if you watch the Houston Moore episode, okay. I, I missed the first one, the one that he actually recorded, and he wouldn't record the second. I made the second. Of course, because you're never going to let somebody else look better than you. Thank you. <laughs> right? That's what he was doing. Houston, man, Coach Moore, come on, Coach man. Moore, I know he's going to watch this. Yeah. Come on, man. We're texting you right after this. Uh, so, so Libby, uh, you know, let's pivot a little bit, right? You, were, uh, you're, you, you had a great, great time with golf. You know, you had a great career there. You, you you ran out of eligibility while you were still there. What'd you do? Where'd you go? What'd you turn? What'd you pivot to? Where'd so, you pivot to? I, after playing golf for four years, was a, a trainer. Yep. Therefore, I think it was just a year. And then I graduated and that was it. But I did yeah. that because I, at that time, wanted to do either sports medicine or physical therapy. Yeah. And, you know, when, when you're kind of in that space of sports and particularly college sports, like it's really right. hard to just, once you're done, you're done. Like you yeah. kind of have that, like you still want to be in that area and you do. and yeah. in that environment because that's all you know. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was a trainer for a year after that. What, what year was that, Libby? What year was that? Oh my gosh. Well, it was like 90, 99, I think. I think was it 98, so. Yeah, yeah, because you were in, you were in there when we were playing. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah. yep. I remember it. Yeah, everybody talking about oh, that Libby's new. She was, but she was in she was but, in golf. Yeah, but now she's training. Like, now Libby she's a trainer. Playing golf, like <laughs> yeah, what happened? What happened? Like, <laughs> what happened? like <laughs> yeah. does she not want to play golf? Of course. <laughs> yeah. I remember us talking about that. Yeah. I remember us talking like. Why is Libby now a trainer? Is, What's going on? I <laughs> was done. I was done playing. You were done. You were done. Yeah. You know, so it was just, it was strange. <laughs> we never had a conversation. Like, okay, I guess 
a trainer. Okay, cool. You know, so um, is that something you went on to pursue? Are you a trainer now? Or what are you, you living in Edinburgh, but what are you doing now? So it's interesting. After I graduated, mm -hmm. my degree was in kinesiology. I wanted to do physical therapy, but I was the first person in my family to, like my immediate family, to graduate from college. And so I was not aware wow. that... You can't declare physical therapy like a major, like you do biology or math or Correct. whatever. Um, and so I kind of was like, oh no, you can't, you have to apply to school and you have to get accepted and all that. So I, I majored in kinesiology, but I, I said, I don't want to coach. That's not what I want to yep. do. Yeah. And it just wasn't something that I, I thought was right for me. And I graduated and then I became a coach. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. So after I graduated, I was a student teacher, not a student teacher, a substitute teacher, a permanent sub for a while. Yeah. And um, at that time, I told my dad, hey, I want to do athletic training. I want to go to San Marcos. And my dad was like, well, I don't even know what that is. And you already have a degree. You know, why do we need to spend more money? So I thought, well, great. So I was a teacher, a permanent sub for a while. And then they opened up uh, John Lee Panamides High School in Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah. And they were looking for a golf coach. So I, somebody mentioned it to me and I, I put in an application and I went in for an interview for the head men's and women's golf coach there at Johnny Economides and I got the job. And wow. I was a high school golf coach for five years. Um, I was a teacher for eight, but I had three kids in yeah. about four and a half years so i was kind of like i i it was too much yeah yeah but that was fun. Wow. like i miss teaching and i miss coaching so yeah after, i had no idea yeah no idea that you that you coached there at economy were you yeah. there were you there when La, wasn't Lalo Lalo? Was the head coach right the yeah he coach? was there at the same time i was there yeah. that's right that's right mm -hmm. it just opened up well, what's funny is Lalo, i remember i remember after getting a job because i'm super naive to how coaching world works. And I remember in the summer they had open gym. And so any kids could come into the gym and practice and the coaches had to be there and kind of you, you're here for a couple hours and you're here for a couple hours. And here was this, you know, oddball golf coach, not a basketball, football, baseball. Yeah. And I'm sitting there and this one guy, I don't remember who he was, but it, it was a coach. And he says, how did you get the golf job? And I said, what do you mean? I said, I played in college. What are you talking about? And he says, yeah, but you're not even from here. And I said, mm. I was a little bit like, yeah, but I played in college. Like I know what these kids yeah. do and I know you how know to know what you're doing. I mean, later I realized like it's all politics, you know, in, in a lot of places. And unfortunately, and, you're right. It, yeah, it, it, it unfortunately, it, it is 90% politics. Right. Yeah. That's who you know. It's crazy. It's but crazy. I but and yeah. my teams, they came up with, with district championships and had a couple of kids signed to play in college. And so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. That's, that's a blessing. Kinda, that's a blessing to be able to teach and coach. Like, hey, you know what? You can eat, uh, you know, it doesn't matter where I'm from. We're winning district yeah. championships yeah. and so, get in college. So, you so, so speaking, lap. that's right. You have the last, you had the last lap and it's all about you, Libby. Let's just remember that this is all about you. Even though I'm going to ask you about those three kids, no, what, it's all what, what, what I would. <laughs> <laughs> what are those three kids up to? Yeah. So they're all in college, and um, I will tell you, it is a very different mindset as a parent when your kids are in college because mm -hmm. we've been in college. Yeah. And so now I'm. It, it's just. Do it's they go hard. to the UTRGV? Uh, what are their um, names first? My, uh, what are your What are your What yeah. are your kids' names? My oldest, Renee, she's okay. here at UTRGV. Um, my Be middle, cool. her name is Abby. She goes to UTSA, okay. and my son Joshua, um, he's my youngest. He's here at UTRGV also. Shout out to Joshua. Yup. So, shout out. So they're shout, here. Shout out. I don't know. I, UTSA, I mean, it's okay, but it's not UTRGV, guys. It's not UTRGV, you're right. Saying. Let's bring you're her right. back. Let's bring yep. her back. So, just out of curiosity, for nostalgic purposes, is is like Club X and, and Metropolis still a thing? 
Do they hang out there? Like where we, do they hang out? Or they where hang do they out hang out? Street? Where do college where kids they... hang out now? I don't think I want to know. I'm not really sure where they go. Libby I doesn't know. Back. I just know that they come back. <laughs> That's it. That's uh, all yeah, look, yeah. I don't care where you go. It's almost I don't like care where you go as long as you come back. The less you know, the better. <laughs> but oh, man, that but is great. Must I'm always telling that. them you can't fool me because I know exactly what you're yeah, trying to do. You've been there. And yeah. you know, we didn't have we cell there. phones. We didn't have ways for our parents to get a hold of us at any and so <laughs> track our phones. Like there was yeah. nothing like that, you know. No. Yeah. yeah. We had to travel in groups. Well, you track. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where's where's number one and number two and number three? Because yeah, I, don't exactly. know, I don't know anybody. Yeah, else. like oh, there's there's Matt. So G and Mike and Brian are probably around your. They somewhere. have to be there somewhere. <laughs> That's yeah. right. But That's you know, right. and and none of none of what we did back then is um, documented. Is documented. <laughs> so it no, never yeah. happened. No. Yeah, exactly. Never happened. So anything never... people say never happened. You know, That's I had a right. conversation with my my son. He plays basketball, and and you know, you can watch games now on online and, yeah. and YouTube videos and stuff. And I I tell him how you know how good I thought I was, right? And he was like, "Prove it to me." And I'm like, "I don't have a VCR, and I can't find <laughs> the tapes anymore. I That's played funny. the era before YouTube, and you know, yeah, yeah so it doesn't count. Whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, Dad, you don't have a huddle. I haven't you talked have to Evan in three highlight? weeks after that conversation. So there you go. So we're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Well, Li Li Libby, you are, you know, you, you had a great career. Uh, you're our trainer. So that's, that's big time that you're yeah. our trainer for a year. You know, mm -hmm. that, that says a lot putting up with us in the, in the training room. It and, was uh, and you've got a, it, well, it was right. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Nice. Do you have any training room stories before we, before we uh, kind of wrap up, I or honestly, I don't know that I have any training room stories. Because um, it's just one; it was just one year, so you have more. Yeah. You have more memories about golf. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, just remember feeling like, you know, on the golf team, we're kind of, we're not as well known as you guys, and and you know, people don't come to watch us play or anything like that. As Matt, so, yeah. You're so I felt well a little bit like, oh, I don't know. I, I just felt a little bit. Um, out of place, I guess, because I felt like I didn't know you guys as well as you guys knew each other, but it was such a fun, you know, such a fun place. And, and honestly, now I'm not teaching anymore, but I'm a, a physical therapist assistant. So I ended up being able to, therapy. Back. to yeah. Yeah. do it, what you wanted to yeah. do. Yeah. From, from yeah. Well, we oh, were hoping man. for like dirt on Lucas or Big Lee, you know, or, that's, or, what was, I that's said, where or, I was going. Yeah. That's where I was going, Libby. Yeah, nope. that's what we were trying to get. You know, Ronnie is a yeah. sweetheart. We know Ronnie's got no dirt. You know, yeah. we are we, know the dirt. Yeah, we don't Mike, talk bad about but, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah, but we were just trying to get dirt on Lucas or or, or Big Lee. <laughs> you won't get it from me. Yeah, because if but, I give it, if I give you dirt on them, then they're going to give you dirt on me, and I'm not. Uh-uh. That's right. That's right. You gotta protect right, everybody at this it's point. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Shout out to the Big Lee and and Lucas. We gotta yep. get shout them. out, and man. Joe? Shout out to all those trainers. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Rob. Hey, shout out. Rob was at uh, Tall Rob. I forgot his last name. He was at Economy News for years before he moved to Dallas. Um, yeah. Rob, uh, he was a trainer. Anyways. Rob Bass. Rob Bass, baby. Rob Bass. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, all three of us understood that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're dancing. That's right. Oh. Let me let me tell you, we're going, man. We we just been jogging memory lane right now, mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. our knees are starting and our our hips are starting to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you're talking about. So, when I go to the golf course with my son, and we're we're swinging, and I'm like, oh, why does this this doesn't feel right? Oh, sure. I, I think I'm the one that's broken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're okay. running short on time, but I, a question, you know, we've got a playlist kind of like what I mentioned yeah. to you yeah. before. Um, what was kind of a song that you'd like to, to um, contribute to the playlist that maybe, you know, on the, on the ride carrying your locker, which was your trunk, carrying your locker from <laughs> Edinburgh to McAllen country. What did you club. bump? Yeah. What was you what was kind of, what was the song that you were kind of playing in your car that would kind of get you ready for a practice or or a match? 
Well, so it's a little different than let's say basketball or something like that, where you need yeah. something to hype you up. Yeah. Um, but I listen to a lot of Matchbox 20. Okay. And mm. a lot of Alanis Morissette. Cool. So anything, wow. from, those anything two, from that, okay. Like Jagged Little Pill, things like that. That's. Oh man. Yeah. I think I think that's I the one that we're gonna put. Yeah, Jagged Little Pill. Yes. Can't yeah. go wrong with that. You know what? There, there. I guarantee you, Libby is still rocking that on the way her to her to her job. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's, on the way home. Yep. Still rocking it in her. And my son's I like, oh, much. Slow down. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. I say, hey, Matt, we don't yeah. want to lose. We don't want to lose a fan base. All right. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to. We're trying to build our our numbers. And then one last question I got for you, Libby. Um, who would you like to see on the show? And there's a yeah. there's a caveat to it. Uh oh. You got to help us get them on the show. Oh, so yeah. who would you like to see? Be a guest on the podcast. I mean, if if we want to stay a good one. in the same, you know, <laughs> it could be anybody. It could be, be a professor, uh, it could be a teammate. It doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know who. I have a picture here that I'm going to show you. Uh oh. Oh man. What? Let me put, let me put my glasses on. <laughs> nice. What? No, mind you, oh was our school colors pink? They were not pink. Uh, well, maybe you but our uniform in October. I don't know. Like no. yeah, yeah, you all were pioneers, man. Trailblazers. Everybody's wearing pink now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Can you take we did a picture first. Of we did it first with your phone and send it to us. I will. I will. Please. Sure. I sure will. But That's um awesome. as far as who I, I I mean, my friend Brittany, she's she's a wonderful person that she has a lot of interesting information about the program itself because she was there when it first started. Just and like Brittany's last there. name was is Brittany uh, Gabrielson. Gabrielson. Brittany yeah. Gabrielson. Okay, I just Brittany, saw you've yesterday. been nominated. You've been nominated by Libby to be on the show. Come on, Brittany. And you gotta get in touch with us. The thing about Brittany is her dad played baseball for UTPA. Mm. Oh, this is perfect. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna be Libby, great. you gotta help us. Thank you, Libby. We gotta get Brittany on the show. Oh, so. it's done. Don't worry about it. Done. Fantastic. All right, G. I think we're ready. I've been waiting all week. All for right. This game. Been waiting all week to see what Libby's this or that. Oh no. Looks okay. like. All right. So all no you're just gonna give us all you're gonna give us is a this or a that. All right. A this or a that. So I'm gonna say this or that, and then you tell me what you prefer. All right. Okay. You tell me what you think. What you think is in your heart. Quick though. You can't think too hard about it. Don't think too hard. Quick. All right. Yeah, yeah. Like if I say Matt or G, obviously G. You know what I mean? Yes. Right, correct. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> ready, Libby? You're ready. <laughs> Rain or shine? Rain. Wow. I Hype is on the river? Yeah. Yes. Hype is on the river or Club exactly. X? Uh, Club X. Matt, this is the. Olivia's a winner, man. She's just a winner. I mean, you can't go wrong with right, them. Right. No, I know that. All right, pizza or burgers? Burgers. Okay. Bacon pancakes or chicken waffles? Bacon pancakes. Ooh. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Comedy or drama? Drama. Okay. Candy or popcorn? Popcorn. Okay. Ketchup or mustard? Neither. Neither one. Mayo. Ketchup. If I have to pick one, it's ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Sho shoes or sandals? Shoes. All right. Half full or half empty? Half full. I love that. Awesome, Libby. How about Wingstop or Wing Barn? Wing Barn. Shout out. It's dang good. Absolutely. 100% <laughs> every single time. All right. Last one, Libby. Last one. Joe Rogan's podcast or Saddle Up podcast? Boom. Saddle Up. Always. Yes, sir. You heard it here from one of the smartest people on earth, yep. Libby Garza. Libby yep. Garza. Libby, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. For, 
for going down memory lane and, and taking us down Brock trail without getting pooped on from the people. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining the show and, and being such an awesome person and, and just a friend. I mean, you, we've known each other for decades and yes. it's always great to yeah. just kind of reconnect. It, and it, you know what Matt's talking about Libby. I mean, when's the last time we actually communicated? Um, been, I mean, it's decades, been a while. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Decades. Yeah. Probably so in the this, training this is, Yeah, probably in the training probably. room back in 98, 99. Yeah. yeah. And what's crazy is, is that technology kind of brings us together, right? Obviously, but it's all about that connection and the connections we're able to, to make with exactly. former UTPA alumni and the people that were in our lives. And we talk about this all the time on all the shows that it's unbelievable how, you know, you can bring those stories and we always learn something new about yep. people that were in our lives back yeah. then so because it's not all on you. social media yeah. now so yeah, yeah you're right that's right exactly. that's you right. know like i i had no idea that you were from corpus and that you learned yeah. when you were eight to play the yeah. game that took you to college yeah. right and that that's yeah. an amazing story crazy well, so, i'll tell crazy. you my dad is 81 and he still plays every day i love it yeah so i love it it's the yeah. best man that's that's the that's the way that's the way you wrap up the show. That's right. you know, that's and, it. and just think about this: like that was your connection with your father, and that's something oh, yeah. you still do. You still like, do. Think about how many rounds you played with your dad, and conversations you had, and just mm -hmm. that you know it connected and it bonded you guys, and and that's just that's awesome. Yeah. I love. He that just story. told me today. He what are we Thursday? What are we? Whatever day he on Tuesday he went to Corpus to play with some of his friends that I grew up playing. Yeah, and they're all yeah. 81, 83, 84, still playing right now. And they're asking about you. Hey, where's yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I go, I go, I go out there and just beat them all up, Libby. Just beat them. Just, just I beat them and go. I can't beat my dad man. today. I still can't go beat hustle. my dad. You still go can't beat your dad. No. Uh, <laughs> now when you play, and I know we're we're. Well, this is probably this is towards the end, but yeah. when you play now, do you play from the women's tees or do you of course. Go back and play yes. from the men's tees? I do guys because do. the only usually when I play it's in a tournament. And so I get advantage playing from the from the women's tees. Oh, I see. I so, see. Yeah. Awesome. Does but your dad fun. still make you play from the men's tees though when you when you were no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, because for him, oh, he used man. to play from the women's at this point. But even oh, then, okay. he's still shooting in the low 70s, which is That's amazing. Shout out to your dad. I hope he loves this that's episode. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I, I hope it. he does, too. He well, still calls me. He's had maybe four or five hole-in-ones already. He had one, wow. like, maybe a year and a half ago. I still haven't had one yet. But he'll call me, and he'll tell me oh, yeah, he has every to. single he'll brag detail up. of that story. He has to. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Libby, you are a friend of the show, and you're welcome back anytime. And we wish you and your three kiddos all the best, especially yep. the two that go to UTRGV. Maybe not the one <laughs> yeah. PSA. Maybe they're maybe no, you're, you're good. Yeah. Looking one. to transfer, you know. I'm just putting it out there. But um, we wish you all the success, and we're so glad that we got to reconnect with you, Libby. Thank you guys for having me. I really had a good time. All right. So yeah, next week, guys, bees up. Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean, you know, like something happened.